Alright, this is a quick tutorial about how to do a preloader for your Flash website using ActionScript. We're going to use a single frame uh, uh, preloader using an enter frame event. So what I have so far is I imported a sequence of images. Uh, actually it's a 3D uh, model of a tank using Swift. Uh, animates as you move along as you can see it takes a lot of time to load that so first of all I'm gonna shift this to frame number two second frame and I'm gonna leave the first frame for uh, the preloader and the actions so let's first set the stage up so I'm gonna insert two layers This is going to be the preloader. This is going to be the preloader's mask. And this is going to be the text. You can do them on this. Uh, you can put the text on the preloader, but I prefer it to be alone or on the first frame. Anyhow, <coughs> I'm going to remove uh, those from here. We're going to just use the first frame. So on the preloader mask, we are going to draw a rectangle. We're going to use the full size preloader. So I'm going to go over here and draw one. There you go. Let's see what's my stage. It's 550 by 400. So I'm going to do it 550 by 400. And going to the align panel. Make sure it's on the stage, to stage, and distribute horizontally and vertically to align it with the stage. So I'm going to copy this. This is the mask. And, uh, yeah. We're going to put this. Get one and two. And this is the mask. I'm gonna change the mask color to green, so we don't get confused. I'm gonna convert it to a movie clip. And going back up here, line it next to each other. I'm gonna call it mask. There you go. And we're going to insert a dynamic text field. This time we're going to use a static text for the percent sign. You can do that through action script, but you have, you'll have to empty it. Emding it will cause the preloader to start at the start late about 50% and then it will show up. We'll just put it next to it. Now it's time for some action. Open up the actions. We'll put a stop action and then we're gonna take the x uh, value of the mask. So we're gonna put in a variable in each x as oh, that's variable x as number and we'll equal root dot mask dot x value. And we're going to use on enter frame event. This function var total will be a number. Ignore my friend and he's talking on the phone. I don't know why this happens when I try to record. It was quiet all the time. 
Alright, this is gonna be this. Don't get bites. Uh, load it. By 100%. Over this, don't get bites total. Okay, now we're gonna move the mask x axis. I was gonna get this dot mask dot x equals initiate x plus total multiply by this uh this dot mask width there you go over 100 so what we're trying to do is make this move along to Unmask or mask this area. We gotta mask it before we forgot. Before we forget. <coughs> All right. So what we have so far is this and that. Now we need to uh, do something for the dynamic text field. So this dino text dot text. Equals math dot floor total. Okay, now we're gonna use an F else conditional statement. F total equals one hundred. Yeah. Then delete on enter frame event and go of this go to and stop frame number two which is we've got the oops the tank movie uh, running on frame number two so let's try it I can see the tank now let's go to the panel profiler and we're going to simulate the download for the DSL. And as you can see, it's loading. Oh. Yeah. Looks smooth. Looks nice. That was fast, easy. A bit sloppy because I'm doing it at work. Shh. Don't do. Do not tell anyone that I'm doing it at work. Or they're going to fire me. <laughs> they won't. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial by Moo. See you later.